After filming water spouts for three years, I wanted to get closer. So I studied the National Weather Service special marine warnings and other atmospheric data on the internet and noticed when the wind blew from the east-northeast, water spouts tended to form near Key West. When the wind blew from the west and the southwest, water spouts tended to form near Ala Mirada and Key Largo. On May 5, 2004, with a 20 mile per hour east northeast wind, a cumulus line formed in the lower keys. Here is a one kilometer resolution visible satellite loop of the cumulus cloud line that developed on May 5th. My plan was to fly a plane from Sugarloaf Key here along the cloud line that was parallel to the keys to the Key West area. Now all I needed was a high-tech plane and a Top Gun pilot brave enough to fly me at a water spout. And here is the pilot right here. Fantasy Dan, 20th anniversary. Over 20 years. Over 20 years. That's, that's an old shirt. It figures that just as soon as everybody packs it up and heads off that something happens. But if anybody can find water spouts, it's, it's Pilot Dan. We taxied down the airstrip and I saw the first of many water spouts toward Key West. After a tight turn, we lined up with the cumulus line where I last saw the water spout. Here is the roping water spout and the spray ring on the surface. It was real bumpy up there and wasn't easy shooting out the window with the wind rushing by. We made a number of passes at this water spout until it dissipated. Then we climbed back up to altitude and went looking for more. Here is my fearless eagle eye pilot, Dan Haggerty. It didn't take long to find another funnel. You can see the thin tube here. Dan did a quick maneuver and we came around for a better shooting angle. That's Key West in the background. Notice this water spout is rotating clockwise. Most water spouts and tornadoes rotate counterclockwise or cyclonic. Sometimes we were jerked upward violently as we flew through invisible water spouts. They had not condensed yet. For me, that was the scariest part of the flight. Don't worry, it's no warning horn. Did he say not to worry? Here's a photograph that storm chaser Martin Cusera took of our Cessna 182 orbiting a water spout. 
He was in Key West for this mega outbreak too. Oddly, I found a few water spouts rotating clockwise within the same cloud line. In this still image, you can see the track of the water spout and also the wave train produced by the spray ring. After about an hour of orbiting water spouts, I got so dizzy we had to land. We followed the cumulus line back to Sugarloaf Key. Along the way, we saw some really close lightning. I was so excited to see my diligence paid off. I always wanted to film a water spout from the air with Key West in the background. I drove over to the weather service office in Key West and showed them the video on the big screen monitor. They said they could see our plane orbiting the water spouts. As I mentioned earlier, water spouts have five stages as determined by Dr. Joe Golan in his early research back in the late 60s and early 70s. The dark spot shown here is stage one and represents a complete vortex column from cloud base to sea surface. You can see a dark spot for miles in an airplane. Here is an example of dark spots in at least one funnel above them. And here is video of dark spots under a long cumulus line. The spiral pattern is the primary growth phase of a water spout characterized by alternating dark and light colored surface bands around the dark spot. Here are some photographs taken by Dr. Golden of the spiral stages. Here is video of a weak spiral stage transitioning to a spray ring stage. Here is video taken late in the day of a possible dark spot spiral stage and the early beginning of a spray ring stage. This same area produced a spray ring and a water spout in the clip. This video is taken from Marathon, Florida and shows a spray ring estimated at 115 miles per hour. Here is a close-up of a spray ring pushed along by rain-cooled air outflow. The mature stage is characterized by maximum intensity and organization. The decay stage is typically caused by rain-cooled air that disrupts the water spout's upward rotation. In these shots of the decay stage, you can see the funnel become greatly distorted. Oh, it looks pretty. Here is video of rain cool air on the right, pushing this water spout quickly to the left. Real nice spray. Real nice spray. There is a boat out there too. Notice the wave generated by the spray ring. It's important to note that not all dark spots form water spouts, and they don't necessarily move from one discrete stage to the next. In my flights in the Cessna with Dan, about half the dark spots we observed produce funnels from the cloud base. 